When Our Lady showed a terrifying vision of hell to the three children of Fatima, they would have died of sheer fright if not for a promise that Our Lady gave them that they themselves would not end up in hell. A photo taken of them shortly after the vision shows what can happen to a living person when they are exposed to the horrors of hell. Now we have a copy of that picture and keep watching to see it for yourself. Howdy and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca and I'm so glad to see so many people watching these videos and learning with me about our mother, Mary. If you know of anyone who needs to learn more about Our Lady, consider sharing this video with them. More people being exposed to stories of Our Lady is always a good thing. Okay, on to our story. As if seeing the Blessed Virgin Mary isn't enough of a miracle, the three children of Fatima witnessed another miracle during Our Lady's third apparition and Fatima in 1917. This time, it was not a pleasant one, but it was a necessary one. This miracle given by Our Lady to the children was a vision of hell. Ten-year-old Lucia was the oldest of the three children, and she was responsible for writing down the accounts of everything they saw. The vision of hell would never be erased from her memory. Lucia recalled the vision. Our Lady showed us a great sea of fire, which seemed to be under the earth. Plunged in this fire were demons and souls in human form like transparent, burning embers, all blackened or burnished bronze, floating about in the conflagration, now raising into the air by the flames that issued from within themselves, together with great clouds of smoke now falling back on every side like sparks in a massive fire, without weight or equilibrium. And amid the shrieks and groans of pain and despair, which horrified us and made us tremble with fear, the demons could be distinguished by their terrifying and repulsive likeness to the frightful and unknown animals, all black and transparent. This vision lasted but an instant. How can we ever be grateful enough to our kind Heavenly Mother, who had already prepared us by promising, in the first apparition, to take us to heaven? Otherwise, we would have died of fear and terror. Wow. After the apparition, this photo was taken. The children's stunned and sober faces speak volumes about what they witnessed in the vision of hell, don't you think? Now, we don't have to guess how revolting and terrifying hell is. Our Lady has already shown the Fatima children, and so many people are on the path of going there. But they could experience conversion through Our Lady's grace if they only knew her message. And you can help reach more people by joining our Child of Mary group so more of these videos can be made to spread Our Lady's message to those in desperate need of saving. If you are interested and want a Mass said daily in your name, click the link in the description down below or click uh, right here. And if you want to learn more about the daily Mass we offer, stick around to the end of the video and I'll explain a little bit more. Thank you. Okay, back to the photo. Consider this, the terrifying vision of hell lasted only a few moments enough to nearly scare them out of their minds. But there is no way out for souls who send themselves there through grave sin. And the vision of hell itself was not random. Our Lady had a serious purpose for it. But you see, God has graced people over the centuries with private revelations relating to heaven, hell, and purgatory. These visions help us to understand what happens to a soul after death. Our Lady's love for souls is so great that she wanted to show the horrors of hell in the hope that we steer clear of anything that leads to that place of endless pain and torment. So she graced our times with a warning. Jacinta was particularly riveted by the apparitions. After the vision, her every thought was of helping save the souls of poor sinners. She spared no prayer or sacrifice for that end. After the apparition, Our Lady said to the children so kindly and sadly, you have seen where the souls of poor sinners go. To save them, God wishes to establish devotion to my Immaculate Heart in the world. If what I say to you is done, many souls will be saved and there will be peace. Her remedy consisted of prayer, especially the Holy Rosary, and penance for the conversion of sinners that will bring peace to your soul and the world. Okay, 
about the Daily Mass I mentioned a few moments ago. When we started the Child of Mary group, we wanted to do everything we could to help members of the group in their spiritual battles, which is why we asked a priest in Pennsylvania to hold a Daily Mass for each and every one of our Children of Mary group. And each day he prays a full Catholic Mass and offers it up for the Children of Mary, filling their lives with special graces that the Mass gives us. We also send each Child of Mary a special pin and a free subscription to Crusade Magazine. But in my mind, the Daily Mass is the greatest gift of them all. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching, everyone. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.